Hello, future millionaires. I want to talk about the link between thinking and prosperity. Have you ever noticed that everything in the universe is constantly in motion? Nothing stops. Everything is constantly changing, changing form. And there is always sign of activity. There's life everywhere. You will not ever be in a situation where seasons don't change, weather doesn't change, situations don't change. So that means if you really had to understand how the universe works, It'd be fair to say that the universe is in a constant state of change and expansion. And it appears to be almost a limitless source of change. There seems to be an, just an infinite amount of change constantly happening through the universe. But then let's talk about how humans act. How many humans avoid and resist change? Even though life and the world is in constant action, how many times do we see human beings trying to just occupy the space that they're in and resisting change? And by doing so, what they're doing is they're working against the universe. And what happens is every time we work against the universe, whether we're doing it consciously or unconsciously, the universe doesn't care. All that happens is we start to produce more dense energy and the flow of prosperity is restricted. I know this kind of sounds a bit esoteric, but it really isn't. You must remember that I have been in the wealth space now for two decades. I'm a guy who deals with numbers and analysis and complex problem solving. But I have now come to understood over the last 10 years that how we behave energetically has such an impact on the amount of prosperity that we attract or repel. So if you see somebody who is not expanding their range of thought, they're not expanding their range of experience, they're not expanding their range of risk, you are going to see somebody who is stagnant with their finances. I can absolutely assure you. And you'll see a lot of people from all walks of life not getting very far, or they get far, but they after they hit a certain point, there is no growth. People stop increasing their thinking. They stop increasing their action. And they stay, basically they go into a state of resistance and stagnation. And why they do that is because of the fear of losing. Why is it that children learn how to crawl, how to walk, how to run, how to ride a bicycle, how to drive a car. When as people, kids grow, they want to experience new things. But why is it that in grown-ups we see odd behaviors where they will not try new things, especially if they've had a bad experience? Person has a bad investment experience, they stop investing. Person has a bad business experience and they stop collaborating. Why? Or what's actually happened is a bad experience Instead of it being treated as a lesson to evolve, a person uses it as an excuse to stop activity. And when they stop activity, they're no longer growing. And when they're no longer growing, they're breaching the laws of the universe because the universe is constantly in a state of abundance. Everywhere you look, you will see change and abundance. So we, in a way, through our own actions, led by fear, restrict the flow of prosperity into our lives. Now, you can learn everything around building a wealth and abundance from a psychological perspective, from a strategic perspective, from a principles perspective, and from a tactical perspective. But it's also important to understand money and wealth from an energetic and spiritual perspective. I would love to know what you think. I look forward to hearing back your comments.